or had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what you could allow women to legally roam topless in public. Asking a lot of questions in Utah. Yeah, the decision made legal by the 10th Circuit Court of Appeals could allow women to legally roam topless in public. ABC Corps' Nick McGurk is looking into the story and has more for us tonight. Nick. Certainly a headline that caught our attention, Emily. And I'll tell you what, on a day like today, Liberty Park, the weather was pretty nice. You might find a lot of men running around topless, jogging, getting some exercise. But women can't legally do that. Not here, not in a lot of cities and states around the country. So for two women in Fort Collins, they filed a lawsuit, and this is what is happening now. I assume it won't be the masses that participate in it right away. Utahns reacting to news that going topless for women could now be legal. I don't know if I would personally do it, but... I guess if men are allowed to walk around without their shirts, then women should be allowed to as well. That, the crux of a lawsuit from two women in Fort Collins, Colorado. They sued the city over a topless ban there and won. And then at the 10th Circuit Court of Appeals, the women won again. So Fort Collins decided the city would not appeal to the Supreme Court. That decision coming earlier this summer. Utah is uh, bound by the decisions of the 10th Circuit Court of Appeals. So any city that has a law in Utah that bans female toplessness but doesn't ban male toplessness, that law is presumptively unconstitutional now. We reached the plaintiff's attorney, Andy McNulty, by phone. The fact that there's discrimination enshrined in the law is inherently problematic and harms women. The second thing is that these laws perpetuate the, the sex stereotype that women's bodies are inherently sexual and that women are inherently sexual objects and nothing else. The Utah Attorney General's office told me by email they were not commenting on this story. I think the most important step of of women's rights is letting them choose what to do with their bodies. And so creating a law that prohibits that, not really working towards women's rights like we need to be. You might have heard the slogan, free the nipple. That's something that uh, has been resonating in Colorado all the way to New Hampshire. Uh, there's a case in New Hampshire, we're told, that could end up at the Supreme Court. A lot of people think this could go all the way to the Supreme Court. For now, live in Salt Lake City, I'm Nick McGurk, ABC4 News. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. Well. Welcome to Babylon, if you didn't already realize that this is Babylon falling and burning and Sodom and Gomorrah reborn. Everything is upping, you know, they're upping the anti-fans. Everything is happening so quickly now, right? We're seeing this perversion just thrown in our faces, right? I mean, they literally have music videos now with the artists naked. We literally have pornography is everywhere. We have just this absolute hair pulling, you know, pull your hair out of your head, vomit on yourself. Society where men are, are claiming they're women and dressing as women and vice versa. I mean, it's unbelievable what's going on. Now we have not just what you saw here where people, there's laws being passed in up to six states now where people can walk around topless. Because that's exactly, that's really fair to a, a, you know, a married couple or whoever that's walking down the street with their three-year-old daughter and they see a woman with her top off. You know, I get it that people would laugh. Like there's guys that would be like in their 20s and 30s or even 40s because there's so many immature people out there. They would go, oh, that's great, topless women walking the streets because they don't think about what that does and how that affects. You don't think that causes some type of trigger in a child seeing a topless woman, a young girl seeing a topless woman. What's next? The men aren't going to have to wear their pants anymore around town? Hey, everybody can be naked. Go into the store naked. <laughs> you know, go into the store naked with uh, toilet paper hanging out of your rear end. But here, here's really the icing on the cake. And I want to thank a, a subscriber on my website who posted this because I wasn't aware of this. And that's what's great about the website. If you haven't joined, please check it out. Callforanuprising.com. It's $2.99 a month. You guys can share stuff over there with me. Show me stuff going on in your town so I can cover it. You know, it's almost impossible on YouTube for me to cover stuff that you guys want me to specifically cover because you leave links, it goes automatically into spam. And I can't see everything on there because half the comments usually are trolls anyway. So over here, you can interact on the forum. You can post your own videos, your own pictures, your own articles, and interact with each other, direct message each other. A lot of stuff, live chats. Look at this. Feminists win legal battle in Colorado City. 11-year-old girls can now go topless in public. <laughs> Believe that? I mean, it's unbelievable. The Fort Collins City Council agreed earlier this month to remove language from its public nudity code, barring girls and women over the age of 10 from going topless in the Colorado City. A 2015 policy prohibited women and girls over the age of 10 from exposing their breasts in public, but the ban officially disappeared from the city code on Tuesday. The city council's decision came in the wake of a $322,000 lawsuit filed by members of the Feminist Free the Nipple Movement. First of all, there's your 322. There's your skull and bones code right there, in case anyone was wondering. I mean, why would they pick 322,000? I don't know. What secret society is probably funding, right? Skull and bones is probably funding the Free the Nipple Movement so the perverts can see 10-year-old girls walking around topless. And people are okay with this. People are okay with this in 2019. A district court judge ruled in February 2017 that the ban violated the 14th Amendment because it applied only to women. After losing the initial case, the city appealed to the federal 10th Circuit Court of Appeals, which also ruled in favor of, Ho of Hoagland and Six. Fort Collins eventually opted against taking the case to the U.S. Supreme Court. In a 4-3 ruling, the city council voted in May to stop defending the ban in court. On July 24th, the court order permanently closed off any possibility of the city enforcing the topless ban. Tyler Mark, Deputy Director of Information for the City of Fort Collins, told CBS that the city's decision not to pursue the case at the highest level was likely motivated by cost-benefit analysis. So I think the council, as they articulated to the 4-3 vote, really just thought as a matter of priority, no guarantee of success, whether the Supreme Court would even take it up, that the money was just better spent in other city priorities. Right. So let's have every city, I guess, right, in the country. That's what's going to happen. You're going to get sued, and now we're going to have kids walking around butt naked, 10-year-old, 11-year-old girls topless. Then what? They're going to come out next year and say, well, we want to walk around pantless, too, because what's the difference? People will be, all right, right? And people don't see how they're normalizing this with children, normalizing it. And then they're going to reduce the age of consent of what's right and what's wrong. It's disgusting. It's deplorable. It's America. Quote, the idea that women's bodies are purely sexual is something that it was perpetrated by this law. <laughs> by getting rid of this law, we're saying women are more than just a sexual object, and their bodies are more than just a sexual object. They're human beings just like men. I mean, can you believe this stuff, you know? Oh, so the breath, you know, we're more, than just, we're more than sexual objects, so let us show you our breasts. Let us walk around naked. Like, what? I mean, the feminist movement is destroying, you know, I love women more than the next man out there. But when the feminist movement is destroying our society. These witches have come out of the closet because the majority of these people at the front of the feminist movement are Eastern star witches or higher, well, pro much higher ranking witches. Let's just say the bottom of the, the movement is the Eastern star because there's may many more secret societies for females that are higher up. And I'm talking about covens and things like that. And this is what they're doing. Oh, it's, it's just stop sexualizing us, right? Oh, it's our body. It's our choice. Oh, but when it comes to vaccine, vaccine, we need to make sure we all take them. Nobody else can have a choice. And yes, we can all walk around naked now. Stop sexualizing us. Stop, you're, you know, you're, this is one of the, the counteracts. When I do these videos about, like I did one on the movie Good Boys, right? And I was talking about how it's, you know, the same plot of like a movie like American Pie, something like that, right? Where the teenagers in high school, they're going to the prom, lose their virginity, all that stuff. And now they're taking it down to the 12-year-old
So they look at it, they just go, oh, you're overreacting. You're the one who's the pervert looking at it that way, right? And that's exactly what they'll say here. They're gonna go, oh, you're the one who sees the 10-year-old girl topless walking around and is offended. What are you, aroused? Huh? I mean, really, Sodom and Gomorrah? <sighs> this world has completely lost its blank. Completely. And for them to be able to stand there and look, I mean, the free the nipple feminism, spearheaded by feminists, the sex positivity movement has gone well beyond combating slut shaming to celebrating overt displays of female sexuality. And in the culture at large, this is what the quote says here. Celebrities such as superstars. Is this a new term? Twerk superstars? Unbelievable. Iggy Azalea and Cardi B exhort women to celebrate their raunchiness as a form of liberation and empowerment. Oh, okay. So it's not foriness. It's now empowerment for Iggy Azalea to walk around in a thong with her butt hanging out, right? Not being restricted to show to kids on YouTube or anywhere else where people can find it. That's not sexualizing. That's not perversion. It's empowerment, right? So is it an empower? It's an empower. You know, go to the grocery store, take a dump in the middle of the, uh, the middle of the frozen food section aisle. Is that empowerment? Walk around naked and let's, you know, let's take our clothes off and let's walk, uh, let's walk into a public school. Is that empowerment? I mean, what in the world are these people talking about? It's perversion. It's disgusting. And we continue to allow this to happen in our country as it gets flushed down in the center of hell. You know, people often say to me, stuff about being negative. I know he's such a bully. It's, it's mind blowing because if, if these little babies can't get their way and people do whatever they want, they can't deal with criticism. They can't deal with arguments because they're so soft and they're such pansies. And what do they do? They target the kids, constantly targeting kids for their perverse lifestyle. Well, to do without will lifestyle, I'll do everything within my power to stop it from happening over my dead body. Well, something like this becoming in my town. The uprising really does need to occur because this is getting out of hand. Thank you for listening to today's show. Pray for the children out there who have to be subjected to this world.